Hi everyone, this is Nat from Studio Hacks and in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn any audio file into an MP3 only using your iPhone. This is a follow-up video to one I did the other day where I had a bit more of a long-winded approach for converting audio files to MP3s. I've since found a much quicker and easier method. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the quick and easy way and then I'll show you a few ways that you can download files and export them from GarageBand after that. So first I need a file that I want to convert to an MP3. So in my files app right here, I actually have a song that I've exported from GarageBand under GarageBand exports. And that is if I go to info, a M4A file, which is the default compression format of uh, audio files when you export them from GarageBand. If I wanted to turn that file into an MP3, I simply use Safari, the Safari, the Safari browser. This will not work with any, uh, well, it won't, I've tried it with Chrome and it doesn't work. So I've just simply typed in online audio converter and I've found the easiest one um, is this one right here, the convertio.co. I'm going to click there and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. You'll notice that I have a previous download uh, in the queue because there's that little blue downward facing arrow. Now this is really important. I have to clear any previous downloads by clicking on it and selecting clear right there before I do anything. And then all I do here is I choose the file that I want to convert. So when that comes up, it's going to ask me to browse and I can have a look uh, instead of my recent files, I'm going to go to browse because I know that it's on my iPhone right here and it's in my GarageBand and exports, exports folder rather. So I'm going to select that and then it automatically says convert it to MP3. You can convert it to any one of these other file types if you like by clicking where it says MP3. And if I click the settings wheel right here, I also have some extra options um, where I can change with this little slider right here, the quality of the MP3 that I'm going to export. So if I want to select say 192 kilobits per second, which is a format that I use quite a lot, I can select that there. I simply now just hit convert and then it's going to convert that file for me. You see a little progress bar there. And then it should divert me to another screen where I can download that file. Okay, so the conversion is complete. So if I hit download, it will now should have a pop up that asks me to download. Now this won't come up properly if you haven't cleared that the previous downloads. So I'm going to hit download. If you hit view, it'll just play it in the browser. Um, it's you have to hit download. And then you'll see now there's a little progress bar up the top and it's finished the download. And then I tend to click on that again and just go clear so that I don't have any problems with future conversions. Now to make sure that that has been downloaded, it should end up in my files app and it should be in my downloads folder right here. Let's have a look. It should be uh, dark trap beat. There we go. And let's have a look. If I click on that and select info, there we go. It's telling me it's an MP3 file. And if I compare the size of that, that's 990 kilobytes to the original file. Let's have a look at the original export. It should be roughly the same because they're both compressed file formats. There we go. The original one was 1.1 megabytes. So it's more or less a similar size. If my original file was a .wav file, it would be quite different. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So if you, I have this site that I download um, sounds from called freesound.org. I really love it. And it's a free site and it has uh, Creative Commons music and field recordings. I use a lot of these in my compositions. Um, for example, when I get like a lo-fi hip hop and I'm looking for a vinyl crackle, um, you can search here on freesound.org. Now you have to have an account with these guys. So you just log in. It's totally free. It's a, it's a really good site. They don't ask you, they don't send you spam or anything. 
never received um, spam from these guys. Um, so if I search for vinyl, um, I think that's how you spell it. My spelling is absolutely terrible and hit search. Um, it looks like here we go. So here's an AIF file. Let's see if I can find some vinyl crackle. Here's one here, vinyl crackle. So if I click on that and let me see what sort of file format that is. So that's already an MP3. I might refine my search just to WAV files for the sake of this video. So I can do that over there. And let's see, here we go. Is one that looks like it might be some vinyl crackle. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, there. That sounds good. Um, when you do the previews here, um, they're quite low quality. But um, you'll see here that this is a Creative Commons license. The person has released this under Creative Commons, which means we're free to use that without uh, any copyright issues. I'm going to select download and then I can download this file directly to my files app. So this should end up in my downloads folder. You'll see there's a progress bar right on the top right hand corner showing that um, downloading at the moment. Because it's a WAV file, um, it shows me that it's 1.5 megabytes there. So sometimes the WAV files take quite a bit longer than MP3s to download. And then as soon as that's complete, I should be able to see that. I can actually probably see a progress in my downloads folder there. There it is there. So that's the progress of that download. I don't know why that's taking so long. But I might pause this video and join back with you as soon as that's done. Okay, so that download is finished now. And if I have a look at that, um, I might actually rename that so it's a bit easy to see by holding my finger down on it and selecting rename. I might just call that vinyl. So I can use that in my garage band. Compositions and things like that. But if I want to convert that file to uh, MP3, I simply do the same thing. I go to Safari. I go to Convertio. I can upload that web file when I choose files. And when I browse, I'm just going to look in my downloads folder or the vinyl crackle. There it is right there. Now that's going to upload that web file. And as soon as that's uploaded, that was quick. I can convert that one to MP3. Now let's do that conversion. And then we will probably see a dramatic difference in the file size between that original web file and the MP3. So you'll notice that I before I can download this, I need to clear that first download up there. So if I go here and go clear, now I can happily download this vinylcrackle.mp3. Hit download and that downloaded really quick. Let's go have a look at the difference in the file size. So the original one right there was 1.6 megabytes. And now my MP3 version right there is only 199 kilobytes, much smaller because it's a compressed format, which is MP3. So that is an easier way than my previous video to convert any audio file on your iPhone to an MP3. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.